The man of the moment joins us now from Melbourne. Indian sport is celebrating a rare world number one in the sport of tennis. And Rohan Bopanna could make it a double celebration if he goes on and wins the Australian Open men's doubles title. Rohan, let me start by congratulating you on becoming world number one. You're just the fourth Indian and that too in a global sport. You have been one of the nice guys in Indian sport and this is the crowning achievement of uh, your career. Thank you, Diggy. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, first of all, having me on uh, here with chatting with you, always a pleasure. Uh, yeah, extremely happy and proud uh, to have achieved the number one ranking. It's always been a uh, goal. Uh, of course, didn't think it'll come this uh, uh, time in my career. But of course, uh, the year 2023, Matt Ebden and me had, it was definitely a realistic goal. Uh, and I think uh, when we uh, decided that uh, we're going to continue the partnership and play uh, this year together. For our first focus was to do have a better January to start with uh, compared to last year where we had lost two first rounds in Adelaide and uh, Melbourne. So, but truly, uh, it's amazing to have achieved this ranking. Uh, and still, uh, to be honest, it's still sinking in. Okay, I'm going to come back to that number one story in a bit as we have to also talk about the win this morning, Rohan. Has it been difficult preparing for that semi-final with so much happening around you? I imagine all the wishes and congratulations were pouring in. And uh, did you have to shut your phone off? Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, definitely very different because uh, uh, not often uh, or maybe first time in my career that uh, so many messages, you know, came pouring in and I was, it was overwhelming and, uh, you know, so humbling to... Uh, to have received so many wonderful messages, uh, especially uh, during the tournament and uh, knowing the fact that I was going to play a semi-final today, I had to uh, reply as many as I could and then make sure I got my, uh, you know, beauty sleep, uh, you know, to get ready for uh, today's match and which is a very big, uh, you know, match uh, for us, especially the way we had been playing. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough match, so I had to be prepared. So I think uh, that was something uh, which was there on the back of my mind and I made sure, uh, you know, I was very focused on that. Now, clearly that beauty sleep helped because I did my research, Rohan. We've sort of known you for the last 20 years. Now, this is your 61st appearance in the main row of a Grand Slam when it comes to doubles. I need to ask you this. How desperate are you to win a first men's doubles Grand Slam title? Uh, it's not at all, not at all desperate, uh, you know, because it's a personal goal. It is no one else's uh, goal. Uh, the biggest thing is I'm extremely happy to be in a spot to even uh, compete for a, you know, Grand Slam title. Uh, you know, uh, when you, like you uh, you mentioned, 61st uh, Grand Slam I'm playing and this is just my third men's doubles uh, uh, final. So it doesn't come that often. So I'm super happy to uh, just put myself in position to give give it a shot of, uh, uh, you know, going and winning the title. So I'm extremely happy with that. Okay, you're playing the Italians, Simone Bolelli and Andrea Vavasori in the final. Have you played them before, Rohan? And like you, they've too have had to come through two match tie breaks. I think uh, to start with, uh, Bolelli, I've played uh, uh, a few times, but uh, Vavasori, I, uh, I think I played him once in uh, US Open, but never as a team. Uh, we haven't, uh, uh, I haven't played against them as a team, or I, I don't think Matt has either, uh, and definitely not uh, as Matt and me as a team, we haven't played them. Uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, any anytime somebody's in a the final, they're also playing. Uh, you know, good tennis, so it's going to be a, a very, very good match. Tough team, to, you know, to play against. Uh, Bolelli is a past champion at Australian Open, so he knows, uh, you know, or he clearly likes the courts, uh, yeah, you know, here in Australia. Uh, I'm really looking forward uh, to this uh, final on Saturday because I think uh, we've been playing some good tennis. 
this entire fortnight and i really feel that uh, if we continue the same way how we've been playing we have a fantastic shot at the title Thank you.